dear engineering students i welcome you all into my channel motion ali 14 hope you are all doing well so today i will discuss one numerical over here that is on the topic angle between the radius vector and tangent in previous two lectures we have seen the derivations make sure you will watch them first then only you will be able to understand this particular numerical okay as far as examinations are concerned this is the eight marks question as far as vtu exams right so i can write down here this is the eight marks and don't leave this particular question as it is very simple let us see what is the procedure for this particular problem right so before solving this particular problem let me tell you one thing over here if you are new to my channel subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon so that you will receive the notification whenever i will upload the important lectures over here so let's solve this particular question what is mentioned here find the angle between the radius vector and the tangent we have to find angle between radius vector and tangent to the curve Guru is given that is r is equal to a into 1 minus cos of theta. Also find the angle phi at theta is equal to 60 degree. Simply we have to calculate this phi first then at particular condition that is theta is equal to 60 we will uh, get it later on. First of all let us solve uh, first part that is find the angle between the radius vector and tangent right. So given is r is equal to a into 1 minus cos of theta. r is equal to a into 1 minus cos of theta this is given. Now we have to calculate phi, but we are not giving with the phi value, right? So what to do? First of all, in the procedure, we have to differentiate this particular equation with respect to theta. So I can write down here, differentiate with respect to theta. Dif differentiate above equation with respect to theta, right? So I can write down here dr upon d theta, which is equal to a, just keep it as it is this is one the differentiation of constant is always equal to zero so you should remember this thing differentiation of constant is always equal to zero so here we have one so there its differentiation will be zero minus cos of theta so what is the differentiation of cos theta you might have remembered from the previous classes the differentiation of cos theta is minus sine theta so i can write down here minus sine of theta is it right so now dr upon d theta is equal to this is a into 0 is 0 a into this minus into minus is plus this will be plus sine theta sine theta into a is a sine of theta right are you seeing anywhere there is the phi angle which we have to find out no there is no phi at all so what is the procedure further on dividing uh, both sides dividing both sides by r over here okay so i can write down here dividing dividing r on both sides so i can write down here 1 upon r dr upon d theta which is equal to, i'm just dividing r term to this one and also for this term we will divide by r over here okay what sine theta upon r right so i am dividing r on both sides why i am dividing this r on both sides just because in order to get the phi phi in the picture okay we are not able to find phi in the picture that is we have to calculate this angle between radius vector and tangent that is phi but in these terms there is no phi available so i am dividing this r on both sides so that this, this term i already know 1 by r dr by d theta in the first lecture itself we have derived this relationship that is 1 by r dr by d theta it is nothing but cot of phi okay so cot of phi is equal to 1 by r dr by d theta now there will be phi in the picture right i hope you are getting my point what i am saying so this is 1 by r dr by d theta is equal to a sin theta by r now i can write down here 1 upon r dr upon d theta which is equal to a sine of theta a sine of theta right now this r it is already given in the question that is r is equal to a into 1 minus cos of theta i can write down here a into 1 minus cos of theta right now here i will proceed it see 1 by r dr by d theta it is nothing but cot of phi already here i have mentioned it now this a and a will get cancelled out now we are left with sin theta divided by 1 minus cos of theta there is the formula that is sin of theta is equal to twice sin theta by 2 cos of theta by 2 right we can write down here twice sin of theta by 2 cos of theta by 2 right so here we have cot of phi 1 by r dr by d theta it is already equal to cot of phi okay now 
cot of sorry we have here uh, one term left that is 1 minus cos of theta there is again a formula what 1 minus cos theta is always equal to twice sin square theta by 2 so 1 minus cos of theta is equal to twice sin square theta by 2 i hope you are getting my point now cot of phi is equal to here we have twice sin square theta by 2 twice sin square theta by 2 so cot of phi is equal to this 2 and 2 will get cancelled out sin theta by 2 and here th there is the sin square theta by 2 so one square will get cancelled here we will left with sin theta by 2 one term and here we have cos theta so cos by sin is nothing but cot of theta so cot of theta by 2 okay. so i hope this is clear right so here we are cancelling this sin theta by 2 here we have sin square theta by 2 so one sin will get cancelled with this one we are left with so cos theta by 2 sin theta by 2 is nothing but cot theta by 2 so cot and cot will get cancelled we will get with phi is equal to theta upon 2 this was the question actually find the angle between the radius vector and the tangent to the curve right so this is the angle between tangent and the uh, sorry angle between the radius vector and the tangent now it is again asking also find the angle phi at theta is equal to 60 when theta will be 60 what will be the phi value so i can write down here at theta is equal to 60 degree you can write down phi is equal to theta theta means 60 you can write down also this 60 as see here pi upon 3 why pi upon 3 is actually pi value is 180 upon 3 so 3 ones 3 6 and 0 in terms of pi you have to write down so pi by 3 uh, is equal to 60 degree i can write down here instead of theta i can write down pi by 3 that is nothing but 60 degree so pi by 3 upon this 2 okay so now phi is equal to pi upon 3 this 2 will get uh, when you just reciprocal you will get with 1 by 2 so here is actually 2 by 1 so it will become 1 by 2 so phi is equal to pi upon 3 twos are 6 so pi by 6 is your phi value at theta is equal to 60 degree so this is the an answer for this particular question and it is 8 marks question in the video examination it is very simpler one hope you have understood the procedure and how to get this phi term in the picture okay so first of all we have to differentiate this particular equation then simply divide uh, r on both sides you will get a cot of phi so from that cot of phi you will get simply phi value and also if uh, there is another term in the question that uh, calculate the phi at suppose theta is equal to 30 theta is equal to 90 likewise so you can calculate uh, in the second step by putting theta is equal to 60 suppose in this question that is pi by 3 so pi is equal to theta means pi by 3 divided by 2 you will get pi by 6 so this is the answer for this particular question so in the next lecture we will see another problem so make sure you will share this video to all your friends and batchmates thank you